I'd like to introduce our speakers for today. Mark Taller, Senior Product Expert. Mark Singh, Senior Product Engineer. Jason Alberino, who's our resident Wug Ninja. Andy Redman, who is part of the Kemp and Flowmon team and the SE team. And uh, Frank Cotto, who is also here to answer technical questions on Flowmon, um, who will be presenting to you all what's new with What's Up Gold 2022. Take it away, Mark. Thank you very much, Alex. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. I appreciate you uh, taking some time to learn a bit more about our latest release. Uh, what we're talking about today is what's new in the recently released What's Up Gold version 2022.0. Let's dive in. <clears throat> so What's Up Gold 2022.0 came out very recently, uh, and uh, what we've done with it is improve security and ease of use for What's Up Gold, while at the same time we're integrating with Flowmon and Microsoft Teams, uh, which will give us uh, some incredibly cool new traffic analysis and security capabilities, uh, as well as uh, abilities to alert through Microsoft Teams, which is going to actually open up a whole bunch of opportunities. That's at the high level. Let's take a little closer look at some of the other improvements. So <clears throat> most of you are probably aware that Progress as a company acquired Kemp, um, but uh, I guess four, four or five months ago. Um, this was actually really interesting and it's part of what Progress does. The company uh, has part of us, its mission statement, um, the uh, directive to go out and acquire like technology companies uh, and then integrate them. And that's exactly what we did. Um, and in fact, uh, I'm just gonna kind of pat her on back for a second here because we were not legally allowed to talk to the uh, Kemp uh, people until I think late November. Uh, and we were able to get some fairly cool integrations uh, with uh, their technology already into our upcoming release, which uh, we were you know, pretty close to finalizing. So uh, um, that's kind of an example of our engineering uh, capabilities. Uh, what we've done here is we've uh, made it so that What's Up Gold can identify uh, two of the products that Kem produced. Uh, one is Loadmaster, uh, which is a load balancer device, and Flowmon, which is a kind of advanced network traffic uh, and NetFlow uh, monitoring uh, solution. Um, both of these devices can now be seen uh, within What's Up Gold uh, and discovered and uh, you know a little bit more easily as, uh, understood. Um, more importantly than that, though, we feel, is that we were able to take almost every bit of data that the Flowmon solution could uh, uh, extract and display that within What's Up Gold in a dashboard. So there's a whole bunch of new capabilities that Flowmon provides, and just note, this is a separate product. Um, that if you've got Flowmon, you can integrate uh, its information with What's Up Gold and get a one-stop shop for all of the additional information it can give you, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, I mentioned uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, we uh, have been able to provide group alerts uh, via Slack for some years. Uh, everyone went home over the last couple of years and uh, used a variety of uh, online uh, communicating and conferencing tools. Microsoft Teams became very, very popular and in fairness advanced considerably. Uh, and uh, we've been able to allow uh, our users to send alerts via Microsoft Teams the same way they were sending it via Slack. Uh, and again, there's some interesting nuances about that. Overall, we've got a variety of security improvements. Uh, those have obviously been important, especially for the last couple of years, uh, and I'll detail them. And we've also made some uh, proactive monitoring improvements, which honestly is just a catch-all for making the solution uh, easy to use, more usable, meeting some of the specific requirements that the customers have brought up. So with that said, I'm going to jump into the cool stuff with uh, Kemp. <clears throat> As I mentioned, What's Up Gold can now discover and monitor those two types of devices, the load balancer and the Flowmon uh, network performance monitoring and diagnosis slash uh, network detection response device. Um, these are actually devices that can be either um, hardware, uh, they can be appliances, or they exist as virtual devices as well. Of course, What's Up Gold just treats them as devices and identifies them appropriately. More importantly, though, as I mentioned, is the fact that with this uh, integration, and I want to specify this is for Flowmon, we have not done this similar integration with Loadmaster at this point, but uh, for Flowmon, we can take advantage of a bunch of those advanced network traffic analysis uh, and network performance uh, analysis uh, um, tools that it provides and display them within What's Up Gold. Uh, and this is going to give you a whole new set of dashboards that give you even more insight into what your network is doing. So just uh, updating, Discover and monitor Flowmon appliances, you can do that right out of the box. You can discover and monitor Loadmaster appliances, again, right out of the box. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, if you're looking at those uh, uh, devices in your network, that's how they show up. Um, and uh, again, 
kind of table stakes, but uh, you can see them, you can monitor them immediately. It's one advantage of having everything under the same progress umbrella. Now, the other piece, as I mentioned, is the uh, integration with the dashboards. Uh, and uh, this is kind of at a high level how this works. Um, I know most of you are probably not as familiar with Flowmon. We certainly weren't until we found out about the acquisition. But this is kind of a good uh, way of thinking of how these two products integrate and interrelate. What's Up Gold is focused obviously on infrastructure monitoring. You're all users, you all have a good idea of what it is, what it can do in terms of network performance monitoring and NetFlow traffic monitoring and bandwidth utilization, application performance monitoring, that sort of thing. Um, what Flowmon does is it overlaps with some of those capabilities uh, and extends them a fair bit. Flowmon is specially focused on network traffic and performance monitoring, which is a little different from the infrastructure focus that What's Up Gold maintains. You're gonna be doing some of the same things, but to a greater extent, if you're using Flowmon alongside with What's Up Gold. You get uh, more information about uh, delays uh, and that are caused by servers or by, um, uh, the network. You get more information uh, for your traffic monitoring in terms of uh, specific uh, traffic issues based on port or based on the user or based on a specific interface. Uh, you're going to get uh, more information about bandwidth utilization and be able to track it historically um, based on specific flows as opposed to um, you know specific uh, um, uh, connections. Um, and similarly with application performance monitoring, there's some overlap there where they can do things like uh, monitor SLAs and error codes uh, and do co correlation uh, between uh, users and endpoints for SQL theory, uh, uh, queries rather. Um, they can uh, distinguish between latency caused by the server or the network and uh, measure specific uh, availability and performance of particular applications. Um, all of this is similar in some ways, but uh, viewed with a slightly different approach. So for example, application performance monitoring, uh, What's Up Gold's APM uh, module will allow you to pick a specific application and monitor it. Uh, Flowmon, on the other hand, will look at an entire flow of data and allow you to look at all the different applications that are in that flow. So it's not necessarily uh, replacing in some areas uh, it, although in some areas it is a, a better solution for specific items, but it is very much complementary, which is one of the reasons why it was so easy for us to integrate this. Now, another piece that What's Up Gold doesn't do and that Flowmon brings to the table is a fair amount of security capabilities, um, and it will analyze how your network is behaving. It will look for unknown threats and detect them. It will do the same thing for insider threats. It can uh, analyze encrypted traffic. It can find ransomware. Where it can do a lot of security capabilities that What's Up Gold simply did not have any capability to handle. And that is also something that we're going to be able to display in What's Up Gold in a dashboard. So that's kind of how the two items overlap. What's the benefit to you? Well, <clears throat> again, all in one interface. You're not hopping from device to device uh, or solution to solution. Uh, you don't have to open up the Flowmon interface to go check out Flowmon and you don't have to go back to what, what's up gold. Um, as you guys all know, the more tools you have and the more uh, devices or the more solutions you have to have open on your desktop, uh, the slower everything gets, the longer uh, diagnosis takes and the worse your mean time to resolution becomes. Um, we can give you some multiple views right within what's up gold. Remember I was telling you it's a, either kind of a per application or per, per flow uh, view of how applications are performing. That can uh, be a very valuable diagnosis tool. Uh, and there's a whole slew of those security features, as I mentioned, that we simply didn't have uh, in What's Up Gold that now you can display right there along with everything else. So these are screenshots here on the right of the actual new um, Flowmon uh, dashboards within What's Up Gold. But uh, I'm going to hand things over to Mark Singh, who is going to walk you through a demo in just a second uh, that's live, and he can show you some of this. Now, one other thing I will mention uh, is that uh, if you want to just see a shorter demo, it is available uh, at whatsupgold.com forward slash Flowmon. Uh, but uh, we've got a little bit more time here, and uh, Mark has the opportunity to do a bit more um, uh, live action. So I'm going to hand things over to Mark. Ready to go, Mark? Yes, uh, thank you. And I will uh, go ahead and share my screen. Um, there we go. So um, you should be seeing a screen with uh, two devices there, Flowmon and um, this uh, Load Master device. We do. Okay, very good. So um, from a discovery uh, perspective, um, I like to start with what's a goal uh, where we start with the discovery. Um, 
the uh, integration with Flowmon um, requires two sets of uh, credentials. One SNMP, um, same for our load master, and then the other is a REST API credential um, specific to uh, Flowmon that would allow us to see the data that I'm about to show you here next. So in version 22, you're going to see two new uh, device roles. Uh, the one at the top represents uh, Flowmon, and the one at the bottom represents uh, um, uh, Loadmaster. So Flowmon is the uh, main uh, focus here today where we will show you what is new in version 22. Under the Analyze uh, section, you will see a new Flowmon entry uh, with a dashboard and the events page. When you go to the uh, dashboard, you will see two tabs, one for network operations specifically and one uh, for security operations. So um, in this case, you could browse by specific sources for sources of data uh, that you're inter interested in seeing um, or response time. So again, this is the network side of things. So it'll be more network specific type data that you'll see in this particular dashboard. Um, on the security operation side, here is where it'll focus on the methods. So think of operational issues like high scans, um, maybe a lot of IP addresses, uh, a lot of uh, you know communication partners, and so on. All of these are metrics that will show up um, uh, in terms and so on in, in a graph form. So you could track it by these specific operational issues, or maybe some security issues that you want to track. Um, and so it will identify them by the numbers here. And over on the uh, left here, or on the right rather, you will see these same events, but they're categorized by um, their severity, so the high severity ones, criticals, and so on, and you get a graphical view of, of all of these. So here are the security events and what that would look like. So again, this is data that we're getting uh, through um, directly from uh, Flowmon. Under the events report, um, here's where you will see the events specifically. Um, what we want to do is select the device, the Flowmon device, the time frame that we want to be alerted on, and then it will go out there and fetch this data for us um, and then present it in this particular page. So um, here is uh, data for today. You'll notice up here it says all perspective, again, going back to those different oh. profiles we're looking at in terms of which type of data that we want to see. Now, using these pie charts, on this side you have events by severity and then here events by method. So, um, same as before, but in this case, we're looking at it from the uh, severity standpoint on, on the left and then by the methods on the right. Let's say we wanted to see all the, the, the critical, just to show you how some of the filtering here works. Just simply select critical and it will filter all of the events that we're getting from Flowmon uh, by critical severity for this time period. Uh, to turn it off, just simply click critical again, and then it will just go back to the regular view. Uh, you could do the same for the methods area here, events by methods, where if you want to look at things with high scans, for example, uh, again, we'll simply select uh, that portion like we're doing here, and this is strictly for scans. And then, you know, if you wanted to filter some more, I don't think we have any critical, but uh, you could always click high or whatever value that you have there. So um, this is what the dashboard will look like in version 22. Um, from here, you could go directly over to the Flowmon application if you wanted to, but uh, you will see pretty much all that you need or pretty much what you need to see about any of these events in this uh, report um, under the Flowmon events uh, dashboard. So um, with that, I'll turn it back over to you, Mark, unless there are some additional uh, questions about this. Thank you very much, Mark. That was uh, very comprehensive. That's great. <clears throat> I'll continue with uh, our presentation here and uh, make sure everyone can see my monitor. And we're moving past the demo. Yeah, we're so slides now. Perfect. Thanks, Mark. So that's the Flowmon integration, um, which uh, honestly we're kind of proud of. Uh, it was a very uh, speedy uh, integration and uh, really a feather in the cap for our uh, development and engineering teams, both on the What's Up Gold and the Flowmon side. Um, I know you guys are on the outside looking in, but from where I'm sitting and seeing how fast these happen, this was really impressive. Some of the other features that we're highlighting, and 
bear in mind, we only have about 30 minutes, so I'm not going to be able to touch on every feature uh, in the What's Up Gold 2022.0. Uh, but we figured this one was uh, pretty uh, important and it's going to have a big impact on a lot of our users. And that's the ability to uh, initiate alerts or to send alerts via Microsoft Teams. Uh, as I mentioned, we do this already with Slack. Um, and it's almost exactly the same process, except with Microsoft Teams, you've got a couple differences. For one thing, Slack tends to be a much more engineering focused uh, tool. It doesn't necessarily reach the entire company. You may not need to reach them either, but uh, in most places that have Microsoft Teams, everyone on the company has a Teams account. So it gives you a bit more breadth if you need to reach more specific people. But also that alert is not just creating a notification. It's creating uh, what Microsoft Teams calls an adaptive card. And there's a ton of different code options you can put into that card. And, and they're all built in, you don't necessarily have to create something from scratch, but there are like websites with hundreds and hundreds of options. What this means is that it's not just a matter of sending a text alert or a link to people. You can send something that includes, say, a button with a specific link right to the actual issue uh, or the particular device or the particular interface um, that is triggering this alert. So it gives you the options to make a much more customized uh, alert within uh, Microsoft Teams. Value of this, of course, is Microsoft Teams has, I won't say taken over, it's not everywhere, but it's ubiquitous. And if it's a common communication tool, you guys might want to leverage it. Um, and again, it's going to make it easier to alert people and it's going to improve your overall mean time to resolution if you're getting the right information to the right people uh, as early as possible. Um, this one's a bit of a catch-all. Um, as we all know, security is normally paramount. And uh, as we all learned a couple of years ago, uh, if a, a bad actor can get access to your network monitoring solution, they've got the keys to the kingdom because it has to monitor everything in the network and therefore has to have access. Um, that's always been a concern. Uh, we've always uh, been uh, very dedicated to making What's Up Gold as secure as possible. So we've included a number of different uh, improvements that will help secure your What's up gold implementation. Um, we've uh, uh, created a, a new way of uh, installing, I shouldn't say create a new way of installing. We're using a, a new application pool identity during installation, uh, which uh, is going to be a bit more secure. We've added a new maintenance mode user right, so you can restrict permissions uh, depending on what people are doing uh, and provide that for uh, individuals that don't necessarily need full access. We've hardened a number of different configuration dialogues. Uh, and uh, we are in our last release, we uh, integrated with OpenID uh, authentication. We've added uh, some OpenID token revalidation capability into that as well. There are more, um, and if you're interested, you can uh, see the details in our release notes, but those are kind of the highlights. The goal of this, as I mentioned, isn't just to keep our security up to date and uh, maintained, but we want to make sure that you are satisfied that What's Up Gold is as secure as you're keeping the rest of your network. And it's another catch-all category, proactive monitoring improvements. This really stands for uh, UI and usability and ease of use uh, improvements. Um, oftentimes, uh, when we get to customer requests, this is kind of uh, where we put them together. And uh, I know this is last, and I just used the word catch-all, but we want to stress that this is really important to us. We're well aware that What's Up Gold is generally considered not only by customers, uh, but also by analysts uh, and reviewers uh, to be one of the easiest and most intuitive network monitoring solutions ever out there and uh, we really want to keep it that way. So we've added a number of features that should make What's Up Gold even more intuitive and easier to use. Uh, we've now allowed you to uh, set particular views as favorites so they'll stay that way. You can always revisit them. They won't change uh, when you leave that screen. Uh, we've uh, giving you more flexibility when it comes to uh, changing default polling methods. Uh, you can now search for monitors within the device properties uh, interface. And uh, there's a list of UI improvements that's probably as long as my arm, uh, along with a variety of other items. Um, again, I really recommend if you're interested, take a look in the release notes. That'll give you an idea. Some of you may have requested these uh, and uh, they're now available. That's great. Um, the goal again is we want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to proactively monitor your network. We know What's Up Gold isn't the only tool you're using all day. We know there are other tools out there. Uh, we want you to be able to uh, use it easily uh, and uh, we want it to be enjoyable to use, not uh, something that's difficult to uh, work with. 
And with that said, um, we've left a fair amount of time here for questions. And before we dive in, uh, and again, please, I do recommend uh, you guys ask some questions. We've got a uh, big crowd of technical experts here. Uh, but uh, if you want to know more about what's in What's Up Gold 2022.0, uh, you can find that at uh, the What's New uh, page on uh, whatsupgold.com, just whatsupgold.com forward slash what's new. It's right there in a drop down menu. If you have not tried What's Up Gold or you want to try the uh, newest version, uh, there's a free trial on every single page of our uh, um, website at whatsupgold.com. Uh, <clears throat> and just as a reminder, if you have an active service uh, contract or an active maintenance agreement, uh, you can download all uh, updates to What's Up Gold free. So if uh, your maintenance contract is active, you've got What's Up Gold 2022.0 whenever you want it. And with that, give us a second and we'll pull up some of your questions and start answering them. Uh, easiest question first. Uh, will there be a recording of this meeting made available? Yes, absolutely there will be. Um, and do we have a link with instructions on how to set up postings to Teams? Um, other than, that's a good question, Jason. Do you have an answer for this? I think it is covered in the help file, but it's very straightforward. I can even run through it real quick. In Teams, you right click on a channel and uh, configure a connector. It's going to be a webhook, and you take that webhook and copy and paste it to a What's Up Gold MS Teams action. So it, just like with any other action, What's Up Gold will show up in your action library. Um, it really is that simple. And actually, I'm going to uh, put you on the spot, Jason, and ask you to elaborate, because I know when you were showing me this earlier, you showed me a page that uh, um, I think it was on Microsoft or one of the other um, pages that showed a whole wide variety of code snippets that could be used for different effects within that adaptive card. That's not us, yes. but that is something that, we can, that you can leverage, right? I, absolutely. Uh, and we can potentially provide a link here. It's adaptivecards.io slash designer. Perfect. I'll put it in our chat here. Um, thank you. Um, there's a question here about us having a training portal. Um, yeah, we absolutely do. Uh, if you go to whatsupgold.com, you'll find a link to under resources for training. Um, some of it is uh, available for paid, uh, some of it is uh, free. Um, and I should point out that the What's Up Gold community is very active, has a very large uh, knowledge base uh, that uh, can provide a lot of information as well. Uh, here's the question I was expecting. Um, is Flowmon included or do we have to pay extra for this feature? Flowmon is a separate product. Uh, literally, we didn't know anything about it until November of last year. Um, <clears throat> it is still sold separately. Uh, it's very complimentary, which is why we did this integration and kind of uh, put it together as quickly as we could. But it is not an add-on. Uh, it is not a uh, What's Up Gold product. It does not. Uh, it is not something that uh, we sell as part of What's Up Gold. Um, if you've got an existing Flowmon uh, implementation, implementation right now. Uh, you can go ahead and use it. Uh, if you uh, wish, if you're interested in this um, and, and all versions, uh, or sorry, all uh, editions of What's Up Gold 2022.0 or later uh, will support uh, the Flowmon integration. Uh, it's not something you pay extra for. However, you still need to purchase Flowmon and that uh, you can do uh, either by contacting your What's Up Gold representative or a Flowmon representative. Um, both the uh, teams are well aware of uh, the integration and you can get it either way. Um, it is completely possible to download a um, Flowmon free trial and implement the integration yourself. There, the uh, dashboard uh, within What's Up Gold 2022.0 does have, um, a, it does include that Flowmon dashboard there. Uh, if you have an integrated uh, Flowmon solution, uh, it's just gonna tell you, you know, here's what it does and click here to get the instructions on how to do that integration. Um, we would recommend you get in touch with us to help you walk it through. It's not possible, it's not tremendously difficult, um, but uh, there's a series of steps and we do have a knowledge base article that's linked right there. Uh, that I would advise you to 
talk to a salesperson not just because it's difficult not, not because it's difficult to connect but because the scaling and pricing of what you'd be looking for uh, in your Flowmon solution is to be perfectly honest uh, beyond the uh, our uh, normal expertise uh, and how we normally handle what's up gold sales so it is different but I do uh, strongly recommend if you're messing around with that by all means please reach out we'd be more than happy to walk you through it help you set it up show you a proof of concept and uh, help you get an idea of uh, what kind of Flowmon uh, implementation is right for your needs. I've got a question here that just said all Linux servers, and that's going to be either uh, can we monitor all Linux servers, to which I would say yes, or does this run on a Linux server, uh, which is no. Uh, What's up, Gold requires a uh, Windows server. Oh, I think that, a... that's a linked question. Uh... Oh, I'm Basically, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm looking at <clears throat> my mistake here. Go ahead. Uh, you want you want to tackle that one, uh, Jason? Sure. So they uh, the person asks. Well, they said we have hundreds of servers, each with a different root password. We moved to free IPA and security groups. Can free IPA be integrated into the credentials for all Linux servers? Uh, short answer is no. But what's up? Gold only requires SNMP access to Linux systems in order to monitor them more in depth. So um, I'm not sure if you have SNMP configured right now, but that would be the route I would suggest going. Thank you, Jason. Another one for you, I think. Is it possible to export someone's configuration and copy it onto my computer? We'll need a bit more context there. So yeah. in certain, there are some things you can export in, in What's Up Gold, but uh, there's also some things you can't. So we need a little bit more context there. Got it. This one I think I can ask, can custom templates be created to monitor third-party processes and services within What's Up Gold? Absolutely. Um, Question here of does What's Up Gold 2022 allow SAML SSO authentication? So short answer is not directly. We do integrate with OpenID though. So uh, if whatever authentication provider you're using enables you to use OpenID, you then would be able to enable that. So for example, I did it with Azure Active Directory. I can you know sign in using my currently logged in Windows account, doing it through that way. Thank you, Jason. I have a couple of questions here uh, specifically about how we are going to be um, marketing and selling uh, Flowmon and What's Up Gold. And I just want to stress uh, these are two separate products. So they are currently being sold and they have you know active user communities and sales teams and businesses behind them. So <clears throat> we are at an early stage of uh, integration. So they are still being sold by their individual organizations. I've got someone here asking questions about specific uh, playbooks uh, around uh, the ND, Flowmon's NDR capability. Um, I'll throw that to the uh, Flowmon uh, people uh, in a second, but I'll just say we do have an entirely separate uh, um, website uh, called flowmon.com that uh, will have a lot of this information if you're looking for it. Um, with that said, I don't know if Andy and Frank want to uh, weigh in on this. Um, the question here is, uh, will you please share the use cases in terms of security? Will you have specific playbooks or use cases in terms of NDR? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I, I saw that question a little earlier. It'd be awesome if we get some contact information. I'll send you some some stuff in detail, and we can have a chat. Um, but just at a high level, some of the use cases in terms of security with respect to Flowmon anomaly detection system are going to revolve around things like early ransomware detection, data exfiltration, um, any anomalous behavior on a network that's indicative of a possible intrusion, such as SMTP servers that are um, popping up in the environment that have not been outlined. Um, DNS servers such as that. Um, and I probably want to add as well, right, in addition to security-based behavioral issues, because we're doing and, and leveraging behavioral analysis and, and adaptive baselining, uh, we'll be able to identify whether or not even protocols in your environment are misconfigured um, based on, you know, anomalous activity. But yeah, if we can get some contact information, that'd be awesome. We'll, we'll send some over to you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. A follow-up on, on Flowmon, I think. Is Flowmon system intensive? Does it require a separate net collector or SQL server? That's a great question. So we, um, this is actually kind of touches on another question I saw pop up here in the chat. So the um, SQL is built into the product, does not require any third-party servers or additional servers for the deployment. 
You can't flow them on collector, which is the appliance that's responsible responsible for collecting um, flow data, analyzing and reporting, um, is a standalone device, right? So there is no additional servers required for, for the deployment. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna jump into these next two, which I think I can answer. Uh, I've got one question about how complex is the upgrade from the last release and how long does it take? <clears throat> and uh, Jason, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if you have a maintenance agreement, you can download the latest release and install it right over your existing implementation without losing any configurations. Uh, usually less than about half an hour to an hour, depending on what you're doing. Um, so that part's straightforward enough. Um, another question that's similar is how many of these features are included under the default licensing without having to purchase feature licenses? Um, excellent question. Uh, as mentioned, Flowmon is not an add-on. It is a completely separate product. The integration capability is built into <clears throat> excuse me, all editions and all levels of uh, What's Up Gold. So if you're running What's Up Gold 2022, sorry, 2022.0, uh, whether it's the premium plus add-ons, whether it's a total plus, um, uh, any of them, uh, you will have the ability to integrate. Uh, it's uh, not something we charge separately for. Note, however, you do need to purchase a Flowmon solution, which uh, is outside of the purview of uh, our, our What's Up Gold team to a certain extent. Um, oh, excellent. Here, we own both Flowmon and What's Up Gold. Instructions on bringing this together. Also, can we bring in the Flowmon Packet Investigator? Um, the first piece I can definitely answer, there is a knowledge base article. It's fairly straightforward. It's like seven or eight steps uh, that will allow you to, that will walk you through how to integrate your existing Flowmon uh, integration. That's right within the um, dashboard for What's Up Gold. If you upgrade to 2022.0 uh, and go to the uh, Flowmon dashboard, uh, as uh, Mark Singh was showing, um, you'll get a link right there. You can also find it on the community right now. If you go into the community and look at the knowledge base, uh, just search for uh, either the Camper Loadmaster or Flowmon. It's all right there. Um, it's not tremendously difficult. Uh, if it wasn't for the interest of time, we could walk you through it, but uh, the people who aren't as interested in Flowmon probably wouldn't find that as useful. Mm -hmm. I put a link yeah. to the KB article directly in the chat as well. Perfect. Thank awesome. you, Jason. And for the second part of that question, today, Flowmon Packet Investigator is not included in the integration. We're simply covering the MPMD and the NDR or ADS functionality for security. But as time goes on and we continue to mesh these products, being that they are very complementary, I'm sure we'll see some um, complementary kind of configurations there for Packet Investigator. Yeah, very good point. I want to stress this is very early days in terms of integration, um, and we're, as I've mentioned, quite pleased with ourselves for having gotten this much put together uh, whilst right in the middle of a product development cycle. Um, as you know, we do have regular uh, releases, uh, at least to a year. Uh, we expect there to be, uh, and I'm not going to get into roadmap details, sorry guys, we just don't know at this point, but I'm, I'm, we will expect to have tighter integration uh, with uh, Flowmon, uh, and uh, possibly in the future we're looking at doing the same with Loadmaster. Um, again, bear in mind, What's Up Gold does have a robust uh, REST API, so integrations are relatively easy, and if you want to do them yourselves, that's great. Please go ahead and just share your code with us. Um, question for the Flowmon team. Is uh, Flowmon similar to Netscout's Ingenious product? Yes, Netscout is one of our competitor products. There we go. Um, when adding and remove adding or removing monitors to devices in bulk, can the monitors be added in bulk instead of one at a time? I think that's for you, Jason. I might get reactions. I think so. Yes. Uh, actually, no, not currently. Um, it is yeah. something we are uh, investigating for a potential future release, though. Uh, I'd encourage whoever sent that question to go out to our I ideas portal and make sure to vote on the idea. Uh, part of our process is now we kind of reach out to customers. Um, <laughs> when we're working on features, uh, especially if you vote it on our ideation portal, and we might be able to give a little prototype demo to you. Definitely. Uh, any plans to provide monitoring capabilities for nimble storage? I think that's for us, Jason. I suggest the answer yeah. is no, but the same, same response, ideation portal. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to at least uh, to, I would highly encourage you to go out to the ideation portal and if something doesn't exist already for that, then uh, add that entry and then other people can vote on it. Um, we're really taking um, customer validation to the next level when it comes to what's up gold. So not only do we have that ideation portal, we also have our customer validation program 
where we can uh, share things a little bit more liberally with you due to the agreement you have to sign in order to become a member. Um, I'll put links to both the ideation portal and the CVP in the chat here. Thanks, Jason. And, and I'll just second that. Um, some of uh, you may very well have been around uh, as WhatsApp Gold users since the Ipswich days before the progress acquisition. And I will say that just from my experience, um, our engineering team is thrilled to have uh, a, a larger organization around them that supports things like the ideation portal. Um, our engineering team uh, is delighted that uh, they're getting direct communications, uh, and not only that, but uh, prioritization from customers. Uh, just, just some background if you're not familiar, the ideation portal is where you can go and suggest ideas for uh, future improvements to WhatsApp Gold and vote on the existing ones that are there. So it makes it really easy for the engineering team to understand what our customers find important, what they really need, what they really want, and it really helps them focus on uh, what's needed. Um, that's, uh, uh, again, I've been supporting WhatsApp Gold for quite some time. Um, this is something that it really delights our engineering team. Not sure I'm completely understanding this question, uh, but it sounds like uh, um, this is another one for Jason. Um, in WhatsApp Gold 16, uh, flow monitor info was sent out of band, so separate servers to process the flow info. Is flow mon info also set out of band? That's a yeah. That's the kind of question I was kind of referring to earlier when we answered the third-party server. Um, no, Flowmon info is not stored out of band, um, and is actually stored on the collector itself. Um, if what you're referring to is also the monitoring process, we are out of band for monitoring in that we are not going to affect production traffic in the way that we actually um, capture packets and, and convert them to flow. So it could have been two questions, and I hope I answered both. <laughs> no, good good job. I, I didn't uh, make that connection, so thank you for clarifying. No um, and I'm noticing here that we're about 10 minutes past our time. So uh, while we really appreciate your time, we really appreciate your patience, we do want to be uh, respectful of, of it. So I appreciate you uh, all taking the time to spend some uh, Q&A session, um, spend, spend some time with us this afternoon, answer some questions. If there are other questions that occur to you that you didn't have a chance to input, please, by all means, let us know. There's a contact us link uh, on whatsupgold.com. We will get back to you. Um, you will receive an email uh, with a link to the recording of this session uh, if you've registered. So uh, if you aren't here, you will be able to hear all of this eventually. Yes, I know how that sounds. Uh, and uh, with that, thanks very, very much um, for the time. We look forward to working with you in the future. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you.